All right, today I'm going to be telling you all which tampers that I use, why I like them, and kind of individual details on each of them because I get a lot of questions. Before I get into each of these tampers, I wanna discuss tamping in general. I think tamping is something that you just should never have to think about. Either you have years and years of skill and you've developed a tamping technique that just works every single time, or you have a tool like a fancy tamper here that produces the same result every single time. And the point I am trying to make here is that you should never have to think about tamping. And that's either achieved through skill or through a tool. But I think for most folks, a tool is going to be easier than years and years of practicing your tamping pressure, technique, angles, all of that. And I think the goal for most folks is to just get something repeatable. The tamp doesn't have to be quote unquote perfect but you can get something pretty close or consistent with all of these tampers. Now let's go ahead and talk about each of these tampers. All right, so let's go into the lineup. We have the Happy Tamper, then we have the Normal Dose Normal Tamper, then we have the Boston Electronic Tamper, then we have the Laube Tamper. So these are the ones that I've been sent for testing or I've purchased, like I purchased Laube Tamper, and I like these all because they just allow me to have the most consistent tapping experience. Basically, I just don't have to think. When I use these, I don't have to think. And I'll be very straightforward here and say that honestly, tamping quality between all of these are basically the same. You're going to get an incredibly precise tamp and an incredibly consistent tamp. It's gonna be the same every single time, but the approach is a little bit different with each of these. Honestly, after you spend about 50 bucks on a tamper, everything else is mainly going to be build features or like very small differences, especially in how uh, the tamp feels. And I think if you're spending big money, the feeling of how to do tamping or the experience of tamping is something that you should highly consider. Let's start off with the Happy Tamper, then we'll go across the board. This is the Happy Tamper. It is probably the most practical tamper out of all of these, considering it is basically the cheapest tamper here. This is about $100, and you have an incredible amount of flexibility with what you can do with this. The nice thing about this tamper is honestly the size. This thing is incredibly portable, and you can bring it around, and it is consistent every single time. You of course can adjust the tamping pressures here. And to be honest, the pressures don't really matter. But for me, what's nice about this is that it's so compact and I can bring it everywhere. So now because things are sort of reopening, I've actually had the opportunity to bring this around with me, bring it to events. And what's cool about the Happy Tamper is you can stick it in your pocket and you won't seem very happy. So that's the cool thing about this. And what's also cool and a re very recent innovation of this is actually the ability to change base so what I can do is I can actually remove the base like this. This is a 58 millimeter base. So one that makes it nice so that if you're trying to clean it, you can just disassemble it. And here is for the Flare Pro 2. So I, I don't own a Flare Pro 2, but if I had a Flare Pro 2, then all I would have to do is screw this guy on and now I can use a Flare Pro 2. This is a 53 millimeter one. I can do the same thing. So what's really cool is you can have one tamper and use it across the board with multiple machines. So if you have a Flare or you have a vintage machine, you can switch to it and you can switch back to your normal 58 millimeter size. And you retain all those really nice features of just having the same tamp every single time and the ability to adjust pressure. And you can apply all of that across the board to a variety of machines. And this is honestly a tamper I recommend to most people looking for one in the 58 millimeter size. And I really just enjoy this palm style tamper compared to say a more traditional style of tamper. Now I wanna talk about kind of the more premium version of the Happy Tamper, which is this guy here. So when we're talking about tamping, like I said, all the tamping stuff, they all do the same thing. All of these push down on the grounds perfectly. There's no grounds on the edges, all, the, all of that stuff. Perfect, right? Great. But what's different with the normal dose normal tamper is the fact that it uses flexures rather than springs. So essentially here, when I press through, I, I'm using a single finger here, this is incredibly smooth. So they're basically these pieces of metal. It's a piece of metal that bends up and down instead of a spring. So on here, you might not be able to hear this, but when you actually press over here, and this is a really nitpick small thing here, you can feel the spring 
actuate. You can feel a spring actually compressing and you can feel metal rubbing against metal. Whereas with this, you don't feel any of that. It is incredibly, incredibly smooth. And also no stickage on this tamper. And I just really enjoy using this tamper. It's like a button you can just press and you get a perfect tamper every time. But if I'm really going into the nitpicky nuances of it, I want the tamp for me at least to be the smoothest. And for me, that's that normal dose, normal tamper. When I press down, it's the smoothest experience of all of these manual tampers. And this is what I would recommend if you were looking for a more premium experience when it comes to tamping. Now let's move on to this tamper. You may have seen this floating around. I met the founder of this. His name is Daniel. He is an absolutely amazing guy. This is the Boston Electronic Tamper. This is the only electronic tamper that you can carry around. There are alternatives to this like the puck press and there's a Chinese version of it and you stick your port filter in and it tamps. But what's cool about this is the fact that I can bring this with me. I, I, I just carry it around and how this works is there's an infrared sensor inside of here and you can trigger it with a TV remote. But what you do is that you stick your port filter here and when you go and lock to the right the tamper tamps that makes it so that every single time you tamp it's literally the same you know I think a lot of people ask it's like why would you get something like this and I honestly think this is better in the professional space if you are a professional barista even doing something like this like that's why these palm tampers do this is they are a little bit more ergonomic with this it's just screw on like this is I think much more ergonomic to use than actually pushing down every single time and RSI especially with real tamping like this is 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 a serious problem and I have my barista friends who complain to me all the time about tamping and it's really cool to see innovation occur on the tamping end some additional features of this is you can actually adjust the depth of tamp here so there are these two buttons here you can adjust the tamping depth and you can even calibrate the tamper for your specific portafilter and this does have a battery in it and how you charge it is you use a wireless charging pad and you charge it. So the idea is you just keep this thing on all the time, put it on the table and you charge your tamper. But I really enjoy this tamper because it's really, really fun. And it's definitely a very novel tamper, I would say. If you honestly just want the easiest experience of tamping, just use this. You just take your portafilter, stick it in here, turn it to the right and it's the same every single time. And I think a lot of people say this type of thing is completely unnecessary for the home space, but I really think this innovation is needed in this space. And this is the first one that we see an independent guy come out and say, hey, I'm going to make a tamper that is electronic, that is incredibly consistent, and honestly, it's fun to use. And that's what the Boston Electronic Tamper is. And it's really cool to meet the founder. So that was really cool. That covers the 58 millimeter stuff, at least the 58 mil stuff that I have here. Happy tamper, most practical tamper. You can do so much, very versatile. You can change the bases. You can do so many different things. And it is really, really great. If you've never owned a tamper before, if this was your first tamper, I would buy the happy tamper. Now, if you're more of an enthusiast, say you have a happy tamper, you have all these other tampers and you want something that's just very unique, that gives you the smoothest experience, get the normal dose, normal tamper. This is my daily driver because it feels the best to use. I also really like the way I love the materials. It looks awesome. That's what the normal dose is. And finally, if you really want the most easy experience to use and you love new tech, that's what the Boston Electronic Tamper is. It is so fun to use because it just does it for you. It's really satisfying to just hear that tamper go off and you just have such a great time with it. And that's what I would get the Boston Electronic Tamper for. So that's what exists right now in the 58 millimeter space that I really enjoy. We have interchangeable bases, we have flexures, we have automatic tamping. Let's throw that all out the window and let's go to the Lowey tamper. This here, I specifically have one in 51.58 millimeters. This is basically just a solid piece of metal. There is no fancy tech, just precision here. And what is very interesting about this is the weight of it. 51 millimeters, 808 grams. For reference, this is the Boston Electronic Tamper, which is 307 grams. The normal dose, normal tamper, 298 grams. And also the Happy Tamper with a smaller base, 
202 grams, but with the normal base, it's a little bit heavier. So this is a smaller tamper and it is super heavy. Now, the reason why this tamper is absolutely amazing is because I think it fits the quintessential lever experience. To have a tamper, to have a piece of the chain of making coffee be made of such high quality materials is what I'm after here. And what's really unique about this tamper is its precision. So most of these tampers will go to like 58.5 or something, you know, they give you the to the 10th digit. Laobi gives you the hundredth digit and it is hilarious. Honestly, I don't really think that makes too big of a difference, but definitely in the smaller sizes, like the lever stuff, for those of you guys with lever machines, you can, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll have these crappy tampers that just leave rings everywhere and it just is not precise. The Laobi tamper is the most precise tamper for lever machines. It is just incredibly precise. And the thought process is, Let's make the tamper so precise to the edges of the basket that the tamper self aligns. And, and honestly, like, look, look at this. This is like insane here. So this is my post-millennium. This is an IMS basket, but look at that. It is in there. And I've had situations when I down dose is I literally just drop the tamper in, it self aligns and I get a perfect tamp every time. And it, it is just, really, really satisfying to use because it's so heavy and it completes that amazing manual tactile lever experience. And I think it fits lever machines perfectly. What's also really nice about this is I've never had any stickage on my Labby tamper. There is some magic that occurs here, but no stickage on this tamper at all. And it makes that lever experience so enjoyable. So I would highly recommend you get a Laobi tamper if you just wanted an end game lever tamper. Also, Jason Laobi is a fellow lever head, if that says any. The guy's got an absolutely amazing setup and he makes really amazing tampers. And of course you can get this in a variety of sizes. I also have the 49 millimeter or 49.78. And then it also comes in a 58 millimeter size. But I think honestly, for most folks who are in the 58 millimeter size, you guys are probably looking for something more, a little bit more convenient like this. And and that's where these three guys come in here. Whereas for the lever heads out there, I think the Laobi tampers are so perfect. I also want to drop a brief note on cleaning. So honestly, with the happy tamper, you just unscrew the thing. The whole thing comes apart really easily to clean. With the normal dose, all I do is I just push this out here and I'm able to rub the base here. I'm able to clean all the flexures in here and then I just take kind of a little puffer, stick it in here, blow it all the grounds and it's been completely fine. Boston Electronic Tamper literally have never, like I do, grounds do not get under this thing. This is very, very easy to live with. I have never had any grounds get stuck underneath here. Like the gap, there's no gap basically. And then uh, Lavi Tamper just, wipe this thing off. So some of you folks are probably wondering, what about Decent V3? What about Force Tamper? So I don't have the Force Tamper here with me specifically, but I like the Force Tamper because it is kind of like this, but combined with one of these. So what I mean is that it gives you an incredibly satisfying experience of tamping. And honestly, that is super fun. That's what it's like, you should make tamping fun. And that's what I think this does. I think this gives you the most like premium satisfying experience, but this is really fun to use. And the force tamper kind of combines both of them together. Though I will say that in my very limited time using a force tamper, I actually have had a sideways puck. I don't know why that happened, but I think the force tamper is a really fun tamper to use. And the decent B3, I don't really use this tamper anymore because really the happy tamper is like this, but a bit better. And the V3, the biggest complaint I had was just, it's just the ground stuck on here. I like this tamper a lot, but the grounds would stick and it would just make the experience not very enjoyable at times. You'd have to always wipe it off. These, I don't have to worry about, especially the normal dose and the Boston Electronic. These just, there's no stickage at all. And it makes your experience a lot more streamlined. But yeah, no force, uh, no Bravo. People ask about the Bravo at times. And then I, if you do have one of these, please let me know the Cafetech Lev Tamp. I would love to check one of those out. But yeah, anyway, let's now uh, conclude about these tampers. Four interesting tampers. Each of them serves a purpose. Let's reiterate, happy tamper, most versatile, practical tamper. You can change the base, you can bring it over. It's really light, easy to carry with you. Normal dose for that higher end experience because it uses these flexors. So there is no metal rubbing, incredibly smooth and easy tamping experience. Also no stickage. Boston Electronic Tamper here. If you want the easiest and I would say very satisfying 
way to tamp because it has sensors and you just put the thing on and it tamps and it's the same every single time. Very, very consistent. You also can adjust the tamping pressures and also wood. Right now they're reprinted, but different materials later on. And then finally, Labby Tamper. For those of you who are into levers and it, for me, that really high quality, satisfying experience like using a lever machine but for tamping. Really fun stuff. So that's all I wanted to show off today. These are the tampers that I use and I want to thank Happy Tamper, Normal Dose, Boston Electronic Tamper, and of course, Jason Labby. Everyone here makes absolutely amazing products and I'm happy that I was able to test all of them. So thank you again for spending the time to watch the video. If you have any questions on these tampers, please let me know and I'll get back to you. But thank you again for spending time to watch the video. See you.